We waited all year for Cavs Warriors. After a season of blowouts, this was supposed to be different. This was the finals. LeBron versus KD and Steph. Then we got another lopsided win. Amanda, it's not a bad assignment. One of my favorites of the year. And there really is a different atmosphere this spring here at Penn State. And I was talking to the groundskeeper before today's game, and they actually lay down this sod every homestand. It takes them about 48 hours. I'm lifting it up. I don't know if you can see. FC! You hear that, Greg? I'm ready for the game. These guys get me pumped. We'll get to the highlights tonight. I'll send it back to you. You got this. Come on, you got it. Woo! There it is. Win a ticket right there. ABC 27 Sports coming to you live from the Harrisburg Mile. We're about a little less than an hour from race time, so I figured I'd give you a little warm up here. Five overtimes, both series going the distance. Drama is just in this team's DNA. Take a look at this crowd right now. The game's over. There's still a lot of people here. One of the best crowds I've seen at a Harrisburg City Islanders game. Do you feel like soccer is finally starting to take hold here? I figured I'd bring in a Celtics fan I know very well. My dad, John Welter, gracious enough to take some time away from the lake in New Hampshire. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Happy Father's Day. Let's go to the ninth inning, tied at four with the Phillies, and let's flash back to April 16th. Harper walks it off. So what do you think, worth the money? Let's go back to the future. I think so. Lucas Wolf won tonight. A fan named John Snyder is in victory lane. So is his new baby girl. But this story isn't about who's here. It's about who isn't. Closure is what this is all about. Williams Grove Speedway, Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Definitely a be beautiful day for racing. You know, I got rained out three times trying to do this here. John and the Beer Hill Gang are getting ready for the race. Right here on Beer Hill Gang TV at one of the most historical race tracks on all of green earth. This is what we did on Saturday nights a lot, uh, Williams Grove. John's three-year-old son, Lucas, loved the track. He was in the dirt. He liked to get his cars out and to, and to race his cars. His favorite driver? Oh, yeah. I named my boy, little boy after Lucas Wolf. That was a first time experience for me. I mean, it's really cool when you think about it, of course, and uh, he's a great little kid. 5.7. A father, his son, Perfect. and their favorite driver. Everything was going great until a night last September changed their lives forever. I get a phone call saying I need to get to Hershey Medical. John and his fiance were at a concert. Lucas was accidentally run over while playing in John's sister-in-law's driveway. You know, I got there and, and he was gone. That very same night, Lucas Wolf won at Sealand's Grove. That was your Lucas letting you know he made it to heaven, Dad, and I believe that, I truly do. I believe that to the bottom of my heart. In the following months, the racing community gave John and his family much needed support. That's a kid who has gone way too soon. It's a, it was a freak deal. And uh, anything I could do to get behind it, I was, I was ready to help. Now John's giving back. He's creating an award named after his son. I want uh, everyone to know that I did have a son. I want them to know his name, and I want them to know that he existed. The award is called Lucas Snyder Tough Luck. All the money raised will be given to the last place finisher at Port Royal this September 9th. To me, that, that guy had a little bit of tough luck that day. But on this particular night... Lucas Wolf is winning with three laps to go. Last lap, Wolf down low, Dietrich past the top side, Lucas Wolf will win at Williams Grove. Yes! That's funny. We're going to the Lucas finished first. Wake up. It's time to rise. At Messiah College, the Easter celebration begins early. 
think you need longer bolts. This is cross run. The cross run, um, this is probably one of our favorite events all year. It's a little tradition. The goal of it is just uh, for the guys to experience just a little tiny bit of what Jesus went through on the cross. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, let's go. Let's go is right. Come on, baseball players. 30 student athletes, five crosses, a simple goal. Experience Jesus Christ to the fullest. And a timeless story. This cross run is just a little way to kind of focus our minds around the true meaning of the Easter story, and that's Jesus. But it's not all running. Come on, Shay, your coaches are watching. Well, it's mostly running. But the real power comes when the physical meets the spiritual. And he said to them, My soul is deeply grieved to the point of death. Remain here and keep watch with me. You know, the cross is not just something that was a spiritual thing. It was a very physical thing. And so to experience it in a small way this way is often something that kind of really softens our hearts, I think, and prepares us to kind of think about those deeper things. Sore muscles. Heavy spirits, they run, they run, and they run. Finally, at the end, is relief. And so we always end with a little surprise, and that's that we just drop the crosses and we just run free without any weight. In joy and freedom, because you no longer have to carry it anymore. So when the guys reach the top of this hill, not only has their weight been lifted, they have a better understanding of Jesus Christ. Easter isn't about rabbits or eggs, it's about sacrifice. And that's something people of all faiths can appreciate. From Messiah College, I'm Pat Walter, ABC 27 Sports. Harrisburg has had pro soccer since 2004. It's time to embrace it, guys. I know the players fake injuries and there aren't a lot of goals, but it's the future. The team is winning and it's fun to watch. The City Islanders hosting longtime rival Richmond. City has won three of its last four games, just two points out of playoff position. First half, City with the ball. Great chance for Cardell Benbow. He'd leave the game with a hamstring injury. Later in the half, free kick for Richmond and Sonny Jane just a bit outside. Second half, still scoreless. Who will break the tie? I promise someone scores in this one. Just not here. Ropapa Mensa misses a wide open net. But Mensa would get his. 19 year old player out of Ghana. Missed six weeks. But he's back and making a difference. Ropapa Mensa, the game winner. Take another look. City wins 1 0. They currently hold the eighth playoff spot. After the game, I asked Bill Betcher if he thinks this team could be special. We hope so. I mean, uh, you know, we got a long ways to go. You know, we, we put ourselves, uh, you know, behind the eight ball, so to speak, a little bit. And, uh, you know, we're playing catch up still. But, um, you know, I like I like where we're at, the way we're playing. City faces one of these top teams, Charlotte, at FNB on Tuesday. The Harrisburg Senators on the road tonight. It's a tricky balance when both teams share one stadium. Coincidentally, also playing Richmond. All-star John Sims continuing his great season. Seven innings pitched, just three hits, no runs, and five strikeouts. Doesn't get much support, though, till the seventh. one nothing Harrisburg. Asfaldu Abreu makes it two. Double to right center, and Sims wants this win. Gets himself a needed insurance run here at the plate. Harrisburg goes on to win, 5-2. to two. Nationals Reds, Joe Ross needs Tommy John surgery. Luckily, Max Scherzer is healthy and on his way to a third Cy Young. Six innings, ten strikeouts, and that's win, ten to seven. Cubs and Orioles. Baltimore lost a heartbreaker Friday in the ninth. And thanks to Wade Miley, this thing was over early. Miley not cutting it. Orioles three and seven, their last ten. Cubs win, ten to three. Did the Phillies win? <laughs> what kind of a question is that? The answer is no. Dan Tomaso shaking his head. Travis Shaw, the go-ahead homer in the eighth. Phillies fall 3-2. That's a pretty easy forecast, right, Tomaso? <laughs>
Wimbledon Finals. It's five-time champ Venus Williams versus Spain's Garbine. Megarutha, Billie Jean King looking on as Williams hits the backhand into the net here. Megarutha takes the first set, 7-5. Second set, Venus, the oldest finalist since 1994. And just kind of out of gas here. Megarutha hits the winner to go up 5-0. And she wins her first Wimbledon, 7-5 and 6-0. In the world of college football recruiting, it all starts with the QB. Penn State finally has one for their class of 2018. It's Middletown, Connecticut's Will Levis. He announced his commitment on Saturday morning. The commitment comes after Penn State lost five-star commit quarterback Justin Fields in June. Rivals now has Penn State fourth in their 2018 class rankings. The boost also coming from Harrisburg receiver Shaquan Anderson Butts. Butts also announced his commitment on Twitter Saturday. The incoming senior was a part of Harrisburg State Finals run, and he joins fellow mid-pen commits Charlie Catshear and Zach Kuntz in the class of 2018. Penn State holding its 15th annual Lift for Life event. The players compete in feats of strength to benefit the uplifting athletes campaign to fight rare diseases. Check this out, Saquon Barkley lifting a tire. Remember he had that 405 pound hang clean the other day. There's Marcus Allen. The event raised over $94,000. This morning in Hershey, it's the giant celebrity putting contest to benefit the Children's Miracle Network hospitals. Several ABC 27 reporters and anchors participated, including Valerie Pritchett. Here she is with her partner. Check out the shot by Val. Oh. One of the best of the day. <laughs> A little she's, excited. Yeah, she's pretty pumped. Chrissy McClarty also volunteering for the first time. And this was my second year. I was paired up with Devin Jackson, an amazing kid. He lost both his legs after a bad case of bacterial meningitis when he was eight. But now he's 13 and an amazing athlete. He's a wrestler in the West Perry area, plays football. We finished tied for second. Oh, man. Oh, we were close. Tommy Tucker from 105.7, the X, and Chase Gurgle won the event. Giant donating an extra $1,000 in their name. This kid was amazing. I, I was supposed to be the celebrity right. putting contest. He's met Tim Tebow, players from the New York Giants, oh, Odell Beckham Jr., Devin was absolutely the celebrity there today. You're saying he stole your thunder. A little bit, but I, I'm okay with it. Busy day for me, yeah. but it was really exciting. It was really fun. The City Islanders is a huge win. Yeah, it looks like a great event there, too. All right, thank you, sir. We'll be right back. Stay with us.